Hi, uh, hello everybody. So today uh, in the Ask the Expert uh, series of uh, sessions, uh, we are going to uh, see this nice utility called as Matrix Browser. Uh, so this is uh, available in uh, HWX. Uh, when you click this post uh, uh, pull down menu, uh, under this uh, post menu, you will see this Matrix Browser, okay? So what exactly is this uh, Matrix Browser? So let's click on that. So Matrix Browser is a functionality uh, which allows you to query uh, information uh, either from Hypermesh or Hyperview, which is basically acting as a data source over here. And uh, once you query any of these information, uh, you can, so for example, once I click on this data source, so there are various entities are there, so you can query them. And then uh, either you can uh, perform some additional operations on this, uh, you can modify them, you can take this to Excel, uh, okay, and do some uh, any uh, intended operations over there. And then you can get back those updated information back to your uh, matrix browser. So Matrix Browser has basically two, is organized into two main sections. See the first half over here where my mouse is. So this basically uh, is the top half of the browser. This provides a table very similar to an Excel spreadsheet, okay? And the bottom half of the browser shows and uh, allows you to browse the HyperMesh or the HyperView uh, and its uh, data entity. Uh, okay, and data entity names and their uh, data names. So the HyperMesh database entities are in, will be in green. Okay, so for example, if I just query and uh, so the entities will be in green. And similarly, if I uh, try to uh, query any entities from HyperView, so that will be yellow in color. So when we select a column in the table, so these are uh, blue in color and all the following searches are conducted on the uh, active column. Now, Matrix Browser, what is a uh, typical applications or functionalities where you can use uh, Matrix Browser? So number one, uh, you can use Matrix Browser for query and modify HyperMesh or HyperView data entities without writing cumbersome TCL codes. Okay, so whatever that you do it uh, uh, on the screen here. Uh, so maybe for uh, a smaller subset of entities, you can save that as a macro. And then you can run this macro to perform the same operations on, on a bigger uh, set of uh, entities without any, any hand coding. So then you can use Matrix Browser to export HyperMesh and HyperView data to an Excel file uh, for further post-processing and report generation. Uh, you can establish a link between HyperMesh and HyperView in order to access the model data such as uh, it could be material, property, beam sections, and result data in a single environment. The browser supports the selection of multiple load cases from the HyperView uh, databases. And then uh, you can also create some new procedures. Okay, so you can create some new procedures to enable automation with minimum TCL coding and also capture the automation process uh, as TCL scripts or Compose or, uh, or other uh, programming uh, languages. So now let us see uh, a very simple uh, application as to how to use uh, Matrix Browser. Uh, so uh, I've opened the Matrix Browser here, so I want to query uh, what are the components uh, uh, this particular model has. So I can just select data source as HM. So what uh, is the entity that I want to query? Say I want to say components, so select that. And I click on query here. Uh, I get this tab, so I just drag and select all the components. So 53 components are selected. I will click on this uh, check mark, so you can see that all the uh, 53 components are selected. So now I want to uh, find out what is the uh, component uh, names, okay? So these are the IDs of this components. So for these IDs, 
what is the name of this component so you can just click here and then just type the name it will just take you to the data names you can click on query and now you can see that uh, it has fetched all the data names of these component IDs now what I want to do here is that you can see some of the uh, component names have this uh, special characters uh, so maybe I want to get rid of them so if uh, since there are like quite a, a few components uh, I don't want to go to each and every uh, component name and remove this so instead of this what I can do is I can just click on this Excel button so the same information what you're seeing here is kind of transferred to the Excel sheet okay so it's a small uh, activity that you can do over here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this column and I'm going to take it into a text pad okay okay and then uh, just do some simple uh, text pad operations like I just go to F8 I want to replace a special character with I don't want to uh, replace that with anything I'll just say replace all okay so now it has replaced everything I'll just copy uh, use the block selector uh, copy everything over here and then I'll just put it back into my Excel sheet okay so you can see that the special characters have been removed and now I just get back to my hypermesh and then click on matrix so now let us resume and uh, work on another application so what I'm going to do now is uh, I want to import uh, a session file having both uh, hyper mesh and uh, uh, hyper view uh, file so let me just open this session file here okay I just want to open this session file uh, so this is going to load uh, two windows uh, hyper mesh on the left hand side and hyper view on the right hand side uh, so hyper view results are also loaded so what I want to do here is uh, you can see that there are a lot of uh, 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 the revert elements over here modeled as C bushes so let me just uh, go and uh, use the mask browser and retain only my uh, the bush elements get back to matrix browser so what I want to do is uh, so the right hand side as I mentioned is my hyper view so I just go back to the results and uh, uh, switch off this notes for so that I can have a better view of my model okay so let, let me just get back to the uh, matrix browser here uh, select hyper mesh uh, elements query okay I want to select all these uh, elements I got 16 elements so next select HV data so go to results uh, okay so for these uh, just click on query okay and just select for these elements HV data results current subcase I want to select the the forces XYZ query them okay so now I, I get all these results populated so what I want to do here is I want to calculate the reserve factors uh, for these uh, elements okay and this is not something that is directly available in your simulation results you will have to do some additional math in order to get this value so we have created a small function using compose so this is the compose uh, 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 over here and uh, we created a small function okay so these are the arguments that is going on to this function which in turn calculates the RF value now what we need to do once we have this uh, uh, function created you'll have to register this in order to so that this function is available within matrix browser in order to do that select the function right click and click on register function okay so you have your functions registered so let's get back to the hyper mesh 
okay so uh, so if you see if you recollect uh, my uh, compose uh, function I have certain arguments so the first three I have extracted so this is basically f x f y and f z of uh, the forces of these uh, pushing elements for the remaining arguments so there could be some constants which I'm going to create as a double integer query so I will call this as ft allowable tensile forces allowable so I input a value for this okay and you can see it's populated so I'll just create my next argument which is fs underscore to shear allowable forces this input a value of 12,100 entity okay and create two more this integers value k and one more as my curve number okay so once this is done so now it's time to call this function click on functions query so since we have registered the functions you can see the register functions is available and also all the other default functions are also available here okay so I'm going to query uh, select this the function what I have registered select the arguments that is required for this function I'll put it on to on the right hand side select all the columns the only requirement is that all these arguments have to be in the in the same order as that is required by the the function and click on OK and now you can see that the RF value is calculated and is populated in the matrix browser so once you do this so assume that you have thousands of uh, reverse for which you need to do this so what you can uh, simply do is you can perform this operation only for a couple of elements and save this as a as a macro okay we'll come here and save this as a macro you can just give any name okay so RF calculation and the next time you just all you have to do is get your new model okay so let me uh, cancel this so maybe I'll just delete this matrix sheet I'll just go back to your model browser so the matrix is available as a as a table entity here so I can just uh, select this and delete this get back to my uh, matrix browser and I want to run this macro okay so I just select RF calculation okay so whatever the operations that you did is all available here so all you want to do is set, just select your elements okay and then just select the load cases so there are multiple load cases you can select all the load cases at one shot or and in which case different pages are written for each load case and that's it so you can see the matrix browser uh, it gets populated with the calculated results automatically okay so the matrix browser is launched and then it is auto calculated so without doing any hand calculations we have calculated the R value over here uh, for a certain set of elements and once it is saved you can use this auto calculated uh, 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 auto defined macro for a uh, much bigger model too and not only that you can also go ahead and uh, contour them so you can go to the visualization so I want to contour and what you want to contour so I want to contour uh, my on my elements uh, I want to contour the RF value which is a euro function and say okay and now you can see that you not only calculate the value but you have also contoured uh, the values on the on the screen okay so that's a matrix browser in short for you so it's a very interesting tool 
and it, and and it has a direct uh, sync between what you do here and uh, the various entity informations uh, in, in in the thing. So any modification you do in the matrix browser, it's automatically reflected uh, in the model as well. Thank you.